Okay, so in this video, let's go ahead and do a comparison of the all new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 to the all new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, even though these two phones here are flagship phones, it seems like somehow they compete in different categories. That being said, there are still people out there trying to figure out which one to go for. You know, whether to pick up the Z Fold 4 here, which is cutting edge technology, beautiful phone. Once you buy this, you fall in love, you fall into that, you know, honeymoon period and you just absolutely love this phone or go with this guy straight shooter, right? We all know what the S22 Ultra is. It's a productivity monster, literally made for no jokes. I'm not here to play around. I'm here to do what I need to do, get things done. And then of course, flip it over and use it as a regular phone. Because as you can see here, I have the sky blue here, such a beautiful phone. And here is a kind of a silly story here. Initially, when I was pre-ordering this phone, I wanted to go ahead and trade this guy in. Then I changed my mind. At the last second, I have a very, very hard time letting go of this phone here. I absolutely love this phone. That being said, I also absolutely love the Z Fold 4 in a different way, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and start off just with the design now. I'm not gonna dive too deep into these phones because obviously I have a full review of this guy here. So if you need a more comprehensive take on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra here, just go ahead and make sure that you watch that full review video and same deal with this guy here. So if you want a full take on the Z Fold 4, make sure to watch the full review on this phone. So anyways, design here, there could not be any more different. Here you have a folding phone, right? This is something completely in its own kind of world, right? And of course here you have the typical traditional form factor. So in terms of form factor, they are very different. I can't tell you which one to like, but I can tell you that most average people, if you were to tell them these two cost the same, which one would you pick? They all will go, at least everyone I've asked would go for this phone here, simply because it's different. It's cool, you open it. First of all, you have like a regular screen there. And then once you open it, whoa, you get a freaking tablet in there. It's amazing, right? Whereas this guy here, everything you see is everything you get power you get power and absolutely beautiful display here and speaking of display without going too deep into just the details and the specs of the display here what you have on the samsung galaxy s22 ultra is a 6.8 inches super amoled display and just for reference this is a massive size phone when compared to just the typical average phone there so 6.8 inches in terms of the display now if we want to go ahead and compare that display to what we have here i believe this is a 6.2 inches not necessarily a gigantic, you know, phone like this or a gigantic face like what you have here, but still a very, very usable face. And just for reference here, in case you are not aware, this is actually slightly larger than that of last year, the Samsung Z Fold 3. So this display is very usable. I personally find myself using this a lot more than I actually anticipated, right? So I could definitely use it. It is comfortable. Sure, if you were to compare, right? So if you were to just compare comfort level in terms of using one versus the other for, you know, typing and navigating the internet, whatever the case may be, obviously this one here has a larger display. So it's a lot more comfortable than, you, maybe not a lot more, it's a little bit more comfortable than using a narrower display. But in terms of height, they are almost about the same height still, this one standing taller and wider. Now they both do support 120 hertz refresh rate. And I'm talking about those front displays, right? So super smooth, silky smooth for navigating, playing games, whatever you are doing on the phone, you will truly enjoy that user experience. Now, that being said, the display on this guy, this display whew, is beautiful, just amazing the best display as agreed by just the tech community in general, the best display on any regular flagship phone out there. 
iPhone 13 Pro Max included because that would be the closest competitor or this guy would be the closest competitor to the iPhone you know, 13 Pro Max. Now we're not talking in terms of just power, we're talking on just display. Nothing comes close to what this guy has to offer. Definitely nicer than what you have here in terms of just pixel density. Although you can't really tell the difference except for the size, you'll be able to tell that this obviously is uh, smaller, it's narrower than what you have here. But in terms of just watching things, you won't be able to look at one and say, well, you know what, this one is a little bit more pixelated than that one. You won't be able to see that because those inky blacks, inky reds, all of that is found on either one of these two screens. It's simply that this guy, the size just seems to be perfect. It's just perfect, right? So if you're watching a movie here versus watching here, plus the aspect ratio here will be a little off compared to what to here. So if you're watching a movie here, watching a video, whatever it is, you will enjoy it more here. Now, of course, to get its revenge, all the fold has to do is to open up and then now, it's like, now who's better, right? You have a massive 7.6 inches display once you get this guy open. And then when it comes down to productivity, yeah, there's just, there's just nothing like this when it comes down to productivity. This guy is a productivity monster. It is made for you to be as productive as possible. But once you open the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and we're talking productivity, this, this is a tablet, right? At this point, you are essentially comparing working on a tablet versus working on a phone, right? This is pretty much the size of the iPad mini. So at that point, it's, there's no comparison. You'd be a lot more productive here, depending on what it is also, right? Because here you do have an S Pen. We have a Samsung S Pen here that is native to this phone, and it's loaded with a ton of features. Now, that being said, the Z Fold also does have its own S Pen, right? This guy here, only compatible, only supported by the larger screen, not supported by the smaller screen. Now, in terms of comfort, how comfortable you are using, you know, either one. Personally, I'm more comfortable using the larger or bigger S Pen because I have larger hands. This one, eh, it's on the thinner side and on the smaller side, so it will depend on who is using it. Some people might find it a lot more comfortable than using the more a regular size S Pen that's found on the Z Fold 4 there. But personally, I feel this one here is better in terms of just comfort and for things to come a little bit more natural. Now, overall, when it comes down to productivity, so whether we including the S Pen or not, I'm always gonna say that the display on the Galaxy Z Fold 4 will allow you or will make you a lot more productive than would the Samsung S22 Ultra here. Now, even though we're not diving too deep into the specs here, the platform on the S22 Ultra is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which is power. It is super powerful. Now, with that being said, what you have on the Z Fold 4 is a generation slightly better than that. You have a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, right? So the same family, just a step further. And not only that, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 here seems to be able to have better battery management. Mind you, this guy here is loaded with 5,000 milliamp, a battery that large. And by the way, I'm not trying to say that battery life here is not good. Battery life here is fantastic. Amazing battery life. But the 4,400 milliamp power battery found here, so slightly smaller battery than what you have here for a larger phone, but yet, I seem so far to be getting better battery life with my Z Fold 4. I don't know how it is. It's some type of witchcraft. That chipset seems to be just very good in terms of just battery management. Plus you have a larger, you know, a larger device here. So in terms of management of that battery, you know, of heat and all that stuff, it's a little bit better, right? So it might not go in overdrive trying to figure out how to manage things as would something that is slightly smaller than what you have here. So it, maybe it's it overworks here in order to manage that battery. I could be making that up. But either way, the Z Fold here just seems to have better battery compared to what the S22 Ultra has here. Maybe also plus the fact that I spend a lot more of my time using this front screen, meaning I'm not using as much battery as I would, you know, someone of, as I would when I'm using this one, which is a larger display, right? So that only makes sense there. But anyway, it comes down to this. I don't wanna drag this video longer than it needs to be. If you are in the market for something that is cutting edge and let's say you want to be as productive as possible, then there's no doubt. If 
you know, money is not an issue, the Z Fold 4 would be something to consider for sure because it is going to make you very, very productive. And not only that, again, this is cutting edge technology and in terms of how versatile it is, right? So you can pretty much buy this and not even need to buy a tablet for some people out there who have, you know, maybe they carry a tablet and a phone, right? A, a flagship tablet and a flagship phone. This could probably cover those, those two, right? You open this and then you get kind of a iPad mini size type of tablet and you are covered there. And not only that, it's compatible with an S Pen, with a stylus. So that pretty much does what a tablet would do. Then you can just close it and then it's a phone. Now, if you are a no nonsense type of person, you just want to go straight to the point, this guy would be the one to go for, right? You just, everything is there. You get the phone, you don't need to open it. You just need to just start working on it and start using the phone. It's all there. Plus it is a beautiful design. I absolutely love these cameras. Now, speaking of cameras, that would be another reason for you to go for this phone, right? So you have something there that gives you a hundred times zoom. That is insane. The cameras on the Z Fold 4 here are actually very good, pretty good. But what you have here is simply better than what you have here. Not by a mile or anything like that. Camera picture quality here, woof, amazing. But still, this guy, when it comes down to camera, so let's narrow it down to this. If you don't want any, you don't want to complicate your life, you want something that's a lot more practical, you just want something that's straight to the point, and you don't want to spend two grand because this guy's gonna run you pretty close to two grand by the time you're done, you know, adding the S Pen and all that stuff. You want something that's gonna be geared towards productivity, right? You have that S Pen there and that you just want the best Android phone out there without anything fancy. This is that, this is the best Android out there. Now, the reason I don't wanna say the Z Fold 4 is the best phone is simply because this is, and it's category somewhere, you know, this is just kind of an exclusive thing somewhere else. But this here, as far as mainstream phones go, is the best phone. So if you're in the market for the best chipset in the Android market, the best camera, the best productivity phone, all platform concern, it would be this phone right here. Now, if you want cutting edge technology and you want everything else that's here also, or almost everything else that's here, you just go for the Galaxy Z Fold 4 here. It is simply a beast. But anyway, that's just my take. I didn't want to go too deep into specs here. I just wanted to kind of talk user experience and how, you know, what I feel is the best between two. And I think it depends, right? If you don't want to spend two grand, just go for this. If you want the best without really thinking too much, just go for the S22 Ultra. And if you want kind of technology, you want something that's cool, something that you're always going to be playing around with, just go for this one. Go for something that's more comfortable using for, you know, multitasking, watching movies, obviously go for the Z Fold 4. That's just my take. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm going to catch you in that comment section. Let's get that back and forth going. Make sure to subscribe, share this video with anyone you know would be interested in. I will catch you in the next video. Up until that next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.